approve promotion request can only be executed by a manager that has no current executing work items. Hi, my name is Andreas Hense and this video is part of a series on resource patterns in YAWL. Today we will look at authorization, the ability to specify the range of privileges that a resource possesses in regard to the execution of a process. In the main, these privileges define the range of actions that a resource can initiate when undertaking work items associated with tasks in a process. You can see the behavior in the following flash animation. So here we have three managers, Chris, Laura and Amanda. And if we start the animation, um, we first have the work item for a manager. And now there is a rule that managers cannot have concurrent execution of work items. And we can see that Chris and Laura have already an executing work item here. And so they cannot be considered and Amanda is not currently executing work items, so she can complete the activity. She accepts it, she starts executing, and then she approves it and completes the work item. This is not one pattern, but a whole list of relationships and privileges that users possess on certain tasks in a process. YAWL has a large set of task privileges and user privileges. For example, you can choose not to give the user privilege start work items concurrently to a user as you can see here in the screenshot of the YAWL control center. We could not implement the exact behavior of the example in the flash animation, but something that comes close. In YAWL, there is an allocation strategy called shortest queue. This allocates the work item to the user with the least number of work items in their work queue. So here we have the animation on the top left. On the top right, we have the YAWL administrator. And at the bottom, we have our three users, Chris, Laura, and Amanda. And the situation currently is that Chris and Laura have already an executing work item and Amanda hasn't. So if we start the animation right now, can see this going on. The rule that managers cannot have concurrent work items. And then these two are excluded. And in YAWL, we cannot do exactly the same thing. There is no direct support for this pattern. Um, what we have implemented here is called shortest queue. So the next work item will be allocated to the user with the shortest queue, in this case, it's Amanda because she doesn't have any work items. So if we start another case, this is case ID 4, and then we refresh the work list of Amanda, we can see that now this has been allocated to Amanda. And she can start executing this. She approves the request and then the case is finished. The YAWL user manual says that new allocators can be plugged into YAWL by developers. So we could imagine a new allocation strategy called no started work items that would have the same behavior as the example. Thank you for watching.